Hello. My name is Dean Muse and I'm the Director of Visual and Performing Arts for Clear Creek ISD. I'm here to say a few words of introduction for what is considered one of the crown jewels of Clear Creek, the Fine Arts Program. One of our great educational specialists, Tim Lotzenheiser, says, Parents want their children to develop a habit of persistence that will help them through the tough times in life and keep them on task when it would be easier to quit. Through arts instruction, all of our students develop those very skills in a number of settings. In this wildly isolating technological age, now more than ever our children need to be physically and socially connected to their peers. We provide that connection which will help students in their future careers where they'll be expected to collaborate with their peers in order to produce results. The 21st century skill of collaboration is central to fine arts. Creativity, innovation, work ethic, self-expression, and excellence are all learned, not by chance, but purposefully taught. These are invaluable for our children's future careers, regardless of their chosen fields. Fine arts participation strengthens self-esteem, confidence under pressure, leadership, and appreciation of all things that make us human. We develop fine motor skills, lifelong activities, human connections, and physicality, and our students will use the brain, not technology, for problem solving, computation, and self-evaluation. And finally, fine arts students learn to be patrons of the arts. We offer a wide range of life-changing experiences to our fine young artists. In virtually every fine arts program, Students have the opportunity to travel and perform both in Texas and throughout the nation. They'll be taught by the finest teachers in the state of Texas. We hire teachers who are passionate about their craft and who are still participating and practicing artists themselves. They'll have an instant family on campus, usually established before the first day of school. They'll have an opportunity to follow their passion in top facilities with top-of-the-line materials and they will perform and exhibit their art throughout the year. In high school, students without a background in fine arts can take Art One, Dance One, or Theater One. These courses assume that the students have no prior knowledge and build the foundation so that they can become as successful in their area of passion. If you're worried about the cost, please be aware in most of our programs there are some costs, but we offer many options that make it affordable for virtually any budget. Don't let money keep your child out of a program or from following their passion. Do fine arts students get scholarships to colleges? Well, in just one of our programs, seven seniors received a total of $300,000 in scholarships in the year 2010. Students in each of our fine arts programs earn hundreds of thousands of dollars in scholarships every year. There's a myth that says, my kid can't do it all and that's just a myth. We asked some of our senior band students what they were involved in and here's what they said. One senior French horn player was the National Honor Society Vice President, was in student council as the parliamentarian, graduated summa cum laude, had all pre-AP courses, CCISD Distinguished Scholar, participated in UIL solo and ensemble contest, was in the Math Honor Society, was a member of the Bay's baseball team, was a Poseidon Pools lifeguard, and a band drum major. Another of our seniors was on the varsity tennis team, was a National Honor Society officer, was on the student council, took piano lessons, was in the all-school musical, was in the all-state band, also worked at academy, took 12 AP classes, graduated cum laude, and was ranked number one. And finally, one of our seniors was in the region band, was in the jazz band, swam on the varsity swimming and water polo teams, was first team all region, was a member of CLEAR, and was also a part of the Houston water polo junior Olympic team, worked at Zio's, was a member of the K-9 commotion flyball team, Wahoo swim team assistant coach, Good News Club teacher aide, Heritage Park choir and orchestra, and Ride to the Rescue Assistant Coordinator. I hope these examples, along with the information I provided throughout this podcast, help you to understand the possibilities that lie ahead for your child in the fine arts programs at Clear Creek ISD.
I encourage you to bring balance to your child's educational experience, and I'm confident there is a place for your child in fine arts. Thank you.